So what does happen to pewter when you apply vinegar to it? Here we've got an example of all kinds of pewter from all kinds of different vintages. Now what I was hoping for is if I poured vinegar into these pewter pieces, I'd be able to tell if there's lead in there or not. The reality is you're not gonna be able to tell if there's lead in it with this test. I'll show you the results and I'll explain why it's not possible to determine if there's lead. Here's some modern pewter. It was made in about 1992. In the 70s, they started putting laws in that said you cannot put lead in the pewter anymore. This set is new enough that it should not have lead in it. Now, of course, nothing is for sure because this could have come from an unscrupulous place that they put the lead in and then didn't tell anybody. Now, just because I'm willing to take a chance that there's no lead in here doesn't mean you should. Any concerns, you should do a lead test. Now this pewter, I just picked up at the thrift store. I have no idea how old it is. I poured vinegar in every single one of these and just let it sit for a couple days. See this white film here? This could be lead acetate, or maybe it's not. This white crystallization is formed on all of these pewter you pieces. See it at the bottom of every single one of these pieces. What is this white substance that's at the bottom of the pewter? There is a possibility that this white stuff could be lead acetate, but there's other materials that could have been used that could also produce this white stuff. Some pewter has the metal antimony in it. Now the question is, what does antimony acetate look like compared to lead acetate? Both of these materials can form this white dusting. Simply putting vinegar onto pewter is not going to give you the presence of lead. It might be possible to take a look at some of this white residue and say, oh yes, absolutely, that looks like lead acetate versus antimony acetate. Now I'm not saying I can identify lead acetate versus antimony acetate, but there are some differences I can see. To me, this cracking and peeling looks like a door that's been painted with lead paint. Is this lead acetate? I'm not confident. Without performing an actual lead test, I'm probably not gonna be confident. Because this responds like I've seen other lead things respond like, I'm certainly not gonna use this. It's an interesting teapot, but I am not willing to make tea and serve somebody with this. Would I serve cream and sugar in these? I'm a lot more likely to because I know I bought these new in a time when they were not allowed to use lead. Chances are the film in here is Anemone acetate. Now if you look at this one, you can see that cracking just like the other one and this looks like a pretty old piece. If I had to guess which ones of these contain lead and which ones don't, my guess would be these would contain lead. But realize that's just a guess. Because I didn't buy any of these new, I'm not going to just use them and take the chance because there could be lead. Here's a beautiful pitcher made of pewter. But would I use it? I'd put flowers in it. Now if I did a lead test, yeah, I'd feel a lot more confident. So what does happen when you put vinegar on the pewter? It causes the metals to corrode. If lead acetate was the only substance that would powder out white, then you could know it was lead. Now if this piece contained copper, you would see like a blue coloration in there. Now this piece is not pewter, but if you look inside, you can see that blue color. Lead is not something you wanna play with, so don't use vinegar to verify lead. In fact, I will not be using any of these until I do a legitimate lead test, except for these, because I know where they came from.